Yes. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Bar podcast brought to you by the coaches and clients of RT Fitness Durham, Sunderland and of course the Barbell Club where we take you from complete beginner to photo shoot ready. On today's episode we have Coach Matty and Client Lee. Client Lee is talking through his incredible journey with us. He's been with us 13 months and he's dropped 22 kilos in that time. But this is all about how he's done it, how he's just simplified everything, the bumps along the way and given all of his solid advice to anybody who is on a shorter journey but obviously wanting to make sure that they get that end journey in place and yeah he's just he just takes control of the whole thing and it's brilliant to hear this from a client's perspective of actually how he's done it and how he's made it fit his life enjoy Right then, let's do it. <laughs> right, Lee. So, who is Lee? And like before you started, like with us, like what was your health and fitness like? So, yeah, go for it. Who are you? And yeah. what was it like before you started this journey? So, sort of, um, uh, I'm 38. I'm from Gateshead originally, but married to um, Sarah. I've got two kids. We live sort of just sort of Langley Park, just down, sort of down the road. Um, sort of, and I'm, I'm a teacher. Is kind of what we do in terms of that. So obviously busy days. Um, in terms of fitness wise, sort of, I've been I joined RT sort of about it was September last year. So I'm come over a year now. So sort of been about 13, 14 it was months. September third. And there we go. I yeah, think there we go. So. Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah. I, I seen as um, what's it called? Is is um, weight in the app and I'm sure that, that was the right, first yeah. log yeah one. I remember doing my phone call with Sarah that would have been back end of August, right. which I'll, I'll come to kind of why I kind of signed up for it really. Um, so sort of fitness wise. That's one of them ones I've always probably been a little bit deceptively fitter than probably what I looked, but nowhere near what I should have been, if that makes sense. I sort of had played a fair bit of football and stuff over the years, but was hindered probably more so by me weight. I mean, never having that much skill necessarily to play at a particularly high level, but the fact that kind of I was carrying extra poundage was probably affecting you know kind of your <laughs> yeah. reflexes even more than what it should have been um and sort of that was kind of where i was at sort of before i sort of signed up sound if you ever need this just yeah just reach yeah yeah, yeah. You, you, you good at it matty <laughs> um perfect i mean so I, i'm gonna dive straight in with a big one so it's like what have been the results you've had in this time i know you said yesterday to us that you've actually lost more than that prior as well yeah so at me heaviest that I ever was, which would have been around sort of about 2021, 20, I was up about 18 stone three. Um, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm only five foot six. It's quite a bit of weight to be kind of carrying around. Yeah. Um, and sort of I had joined, you know, several different kind of weight loss schemes kind of over the years in terms of, and I would have varying results, but ultimately that weight would come back on. And I was finding over time, it wasn't just you'd put the weight back on and that was it. You'd put that weight back on and then you'd add on another half a stone. Then you'd maybe drop three stone and put on four stone and it was creeping <laughs> up and up. So I, I think around about kind of sort of around about the birth of sort of our sort of second child sort of I'd got down to about 13 and a half stone and then kind of sacked everything in and gradually got heavier and heavier and heavier um, and got up to kind of that 18 stone three mark and sort of was starting to feel it. I think, you know, it's, it's that's five stone, heavy, nearly five stone heavier. Yeah, mm, yeah. Yeah, Jesus, um, yeah. So it, I was starting to kind of get to that point where it was, you know, something simple as doing your shoelace. Like you were having to take a breath before you would go down because you were coming back up and you're like, Christ, I've pushed me dive from right up into the... And you were you were struggling with like little things like that. So obviously I wanted to make a change. And But what I'd found is I'd managed to lose about three stone get down to around about 15 but I was getting caught in a rut where you would get to Christmas you'd put on about half a stone you'd then spend about three or four months getting that back off you'd hit your birthday you'd put on half and it was just like <laughs> I'm not getting past this 15 and it was like I need to um to change something really so I think by about the time I started with RT it was I'd lost about I was probably a stone and a half left from that 18 I was probably at about about 16 stone roughly and I remember saying I was doing a football scheme at the time and I thought right I'm quitting that I'm just going to go join a gym and it was my wife who actually said why are you going to go join a gym you, you you don't know what you're doing and I think that was the biggest thing like the the desire was there but like 
you've not had any training, you can go to the gym, you can, you'll go do half an hour on a treadmill, you'll go lift some weights randomly that probably make no, they're in no particular like order, sequence, they make no sense, you'll come home and then over time you'll just kind of lose it if that makes sense and it was her who was like this is someone that i've been following kind of online i mean sarah did she is now part of rt she joined in in may of this year but she was the one who initially kind of said this is i've heard really good reviews and that was when i'd start looking at the stuff that right this is me now trying to really break that cycle because as i say i just could not get past that point um and i thought i need to do something completely different take myself out of my comfort zone that little bit and kind of what can I now do to kind of stop going up and down in your yard and actually get myself a bit of education on the, the entire thing? Yeah, and obviously with that, so you're mentioning for a while it was kind of up and down and stuff mm. like that. Would you say there was any point where, I know you mentioned like the shoelaces and stuff like that, but was there anything that stands out where you thought, I need to do something now, I've been, like when you recognise that cycle? Yeah, or? I, I think like this, this thing's and it's, it's like, I don't mind saying it now, but obviously at the time you wouldn't admit to it because it would be quite embarrassing. It was like, you were down to probably like three or four t-shirts and it was like, well, I need to wear one of them because nothing else fits, but I don't really want to get rid of it and admit it. And I, equally, I don't <laughs> want to go out and go, well, I'm going to buy sort of a size 42 inch waist trousers. You'd be like, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, and I remember there was one point, it was just an after work thing where um, a few of the lads tried fancy a kick about. So we went on the pitch and it was like, I've not kicked a ball for about two years. And it's like, and I went in goal and I was like, I don't want to come out of goal because I don't, I don't think I can actually do anything. Like, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be a right embarrassment to myself. Yeah. I'm going to get up and down this pitch, probably do myself an injury. Tell you what, lads, I'll take one for the team. Like, kind of that, I'll just stay in goal. Don't worry, I'll, I'll have my turn next week. But then, <laughs> obviously, that turn never comes. And it was all those little things. And you're like, you're not getting any younger. Um, obviously, you've got two kids as well. And it's like, actually, I need a kind of, something needs to improve at some point. Um, and that was really kind of, I suppose, one of those deciding factors with it. Mm -hmm. um, and as I say, I think I went into the kind of, obviously being a teacher, kind of going into that six weeks holiday, thinking that I was, I think I got weighed in, I think on the Monday. And right. I was like, right, I'm going on holiday. I'm d happy with that. And I think I put on about, like on, if I do something really well, it's putting on weight. And I think in about six weeks, <laughs> I'd, put on about, I'd put on about 14, 15 pound, maybe more, in about a six week period and I was just like I can't keep doing this like it's absolutely like killing us in terms of sort of well physically actually killing us but sort of just you were losing that motivation because it was like well I'm, I'm now got to get till Christmas and sort of I'm then going to get caught in that rut again and it was really like something has to change yeah and kind of links to obviously the up and down phase because loads of clients come up and say they've like got the up and down what would you say was the difference that made that consistency I know you said obviously you were going to try it on your own and then you thought like Sarah mentioned or oh, possibly you know would you want to do something guided what would you dive into that I think one of the big things is like accountability as well in terms of that like I need someone to kind of even if it's like you don't have to be like on top of his tellers you have to do that now it's just that knowing that you've got that weekly check in with your weight but I think it's I just didn't have that education I don't think necessarily people get taught it in terms of and it's not a difficult thing to look at it's just like if the amount of calories you're burning over a week is more than what you're taking in and you've got that deficit, there you go, there's your weight loss. And equally, if you wanted to be putting on weight, you, it's the same formula, just flip it around. Mm -hmm. There's nothing difficult to it, but it's then you don't necessarily think about um, what you're actually consuming in terms of sort of, you know, people say like, you know, calorie dense food is okay to have. It's, 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 it's you know just not consuming it all the time and for me a big thing is it is the tracking side of it and I mean it's from like the tips and videos that you've put on in terms of I'm a very fussy eater but that kind of works for me because I know I have pretty much the same breakfast the same dinner every day and then my teas on a night time is pretty much the same four or five meals in rotation but because I'm fussy but because I've now got them nailed down I know that if I go well why why is my weight going up what day did I do something different and it's it's just little things like that which I don't think you necessarily if you're just doing it on your own and I was going back I'd probably still be eating crap burning stuff off and you'd be getting minimal weight loss and I think I'd got that down to a T by the end with some of the previous schemes I've been on where it was like you'd get rewarded every week for losing weight and that how minuscule that was it could be like 0 0.1 of a kilogram which is essentially taking your jumper off but it would count <laughs> as a weight loss yeah. and then you know i'll take that and it's like but that's not 
work and that's not the thing. So it was just looking for that more consistent kind of, you know, pattern as you go down, sort of, which, which is what I've got into. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, um, it, it's brilliant. I, I, I'll, I'll get it, don't worry. Um, uh, do you know what I, lo- I love about all that is just how me and Matty just had this conversation last night about making training and everything just as simple as possible because that's all people need. Mm-hmm. And you've just said it there. It's like, that's it. Like, I have the same breakfast, same lunch, same rotation of meals on the night. I know if my calorie balance is off, I'll either gain or lose. And mm-hmm. that's it. Yeah. And like, it's fucking boils our piss doesn't it Matthew like how he, like that is how simple it is and like totally commend you for taking it on board and actually mm. just because I think people over um, what's the word I'm looking for Matthew analysis paralysis analysis paralysis <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking that but like the over think it and think that it has to be more complicated than what it is and I love it because obviously that's what we teach and it's very, very, very so nice to hear it from there. Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, it ties in really nicely to, because we can sit here all day and say like, do this, do that. But coming from the client, if you were looking at someone starting out now, you know, when you were starting in September, mm. let's say they're starting now or whenever they're listening to this, what would be like the framework, the biggest pieces of advice that you would say to them to get that result to really change their life it's it's just consistency really in terms of that it's turning up and getting it, it's everything that you you sign up for that kind of initial package it's just thinking about getting your three to four sessions in a week making sure that you're eating is kind of down and sort of at the beginning the, the, this, i did have that bit of experiment where you're like what's this or what is this kind of powder that's on the market kind of do in terms of that and eventually like well actually apart from protein powder and stuff like that I don't really use any of it I think you experiment with it and it's like is it any benefit of not but if you're getting those results but it's just it is committing to it and I think it is it's it's similar to your 10,000 steps it's getting in getting your meals in getting your tracking done and just turn up the sessions and just kind of giving it your all and know that it won't necessarily um happened overnight I know sort of initially sort of my weight loss it wasn't rapid like over the first probably if you look at it when I signed up for that 12 week program it probably wasn't anything to write home about and probably if you look back at the stats it's like the tracking probably wasn't as tight as what it should have been I mean you I remember the first time we shared your pictures you were 10 kilos down and I think we shared them in February yeah, from yeah, September yeah. onwards and I mean now it is God, you were 105 when you started, now you're 83, so what's that? 17, 22 kilos yeah, now? Yeah, a little bit lighter this morning as well. <laughs> a little bit lighter this morning as well, yeah. yeah that's 22 that's kilos like, over a year long yeah. thing from there, so it's like, yeah, it's like I, I wouldn't say it's not something not to write home about. It's, where it's, it's the consistency steps and knowing that it's like, a bit of delayed gratification for it, exactly, like yeah. being able to consistently do and it. I think it was, I knew it was coming. It's just kind of then you get into that where if I know we say weight loss kind of like isn't linear, but if you look at kind of me graph, a lot of it it looks linear. It doesn't go up that often, but I know that if it does go up, that's nothing to worry about. Grab over the top of this bit, yeah, yeah. Just actually showing the graph because yes. you'll, you'll be able to see it properly mm. and then understand obviously where. It is, because I do want to talk about your last holiday as well, but yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, and I, I don't want any like, particular, as you say, like valleys appearing in it, sort of where it's going up consistently. I understand it might go up, you know, once, you know, and then you want it to come back down and sort of, but it's just sticking with it and knowing that, like, eventually the, that weight loss will come. But it's, again, I think initially that was probably my mindset was it's just about weight loss, mm-hmm. but it's not. It's about kind of, it's, it's everything else in terms of the fitness levels that come with it. And sort of, I mean, I kind of wrote a post. I remember I'd seen it on my Facebook memories a while ago saying it was like a a post I'd shared for doing the Great North Run. And it was like, I'm approaching 30. Like, I'm probably not going to get any faster. This is this is one and done. And then 10 years later, it's like, well, actually, I'm a hell of a lot faster than what I was then. I can run longer. (laughs) And it's like, what was I thinking back then? And it's it's, it's frustrating because you look back and go, if I I put that work in when I was... 25 30 what could I have done then but sort of I'm not going to look at that kind of negatively it's still sort of what can I actually do now in terms of that and I think that fitness level in terms of just what you like I think it's recovery rate is probably the biggest thing knowing that after like a hell of a session that you have on a Friday night like kind of the sort of the gauntlet last night that I've woke up this morning I'm not aching 
I can go out and do something like again today. Whereas I know at the beginning it hurts. That, you, know, <laughs> you get your. I remember very well sort of the, the Tuesday night, particularly not getting any sleep because every which way I turned hurt. Um, but it doesn't necessarily happen, you know, not to that degree anymore. Obviously, if you're doing a, a brand new cycle, you know, you are going to expect if you're giving it your all, that you know, things will hurt the next day. That's just part of it. Um, but I certainly think it's, it's, it's just that consistency side of it and knowing that if it doesn't happen this week, well, it might just happen next week. And it's just sticking at it and kind of, you know, not, not throwing it, you know, your toys out the pram early on. You know that the results will follow. Yeah. And I think people misconcept consistency as well as it's going to be a perfect road. And I'm assuming across the past year, there's been challenges. And the question would be just kind of when challenges have came, like what would you say has got you through that? Because that's kind of a lot of people's point where they just totally go off, mm. go off the wagon as a challenge comes and, and they're gone. You could say Christmas or something like that, couldn't you? Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Because that was quite early on in your... Definitely, yeah. And I think there was, if I was probably always looking at kind of what are the, the, the parts of the year that I would need to kind of are going to set me back and it's you're going to be looking at kind of birthdays holidays you sort of mentioned before you come on to an name um, and christmas and sort of and you'd get to those points and that was where you'd have your your big spikes in weight which would then take three four months to get off but then your birthday's kind of april time so it's perfect if you've got the weight off on christmas bang <laughs> and you've got three or four months then you're going on holiday and then you're back into christmas so it was all if you looked at kind of my previous kind of graph of sort of weight loss it is it's, it's up and down and you can you can pinpoint exactly where those points in time are for when i've had a birthday when i've been away and it's just it's now changing that mindset and sort of saying, well, it's not saying you can't enjoy your birthday, you can't enjoy Christmas, you can't enjoy your holiday. It's just a different mindset in terms of making better choices, whether that's in terms of food, whether that's in terms of exercise and sort of, you know, what you're doing and knowing that you want to try and, yes, you will put weight on, but it's minimising the increase of that weight as much as you possibly can. Love it. I mean, the, yeah, it's... <laughs> I think the thing is that um, obviously you've had this big switch as well. Mm. I like with, with all them like little bumps along the road. Is there ever, ever been a point where you've actually thought like like fuck it? Have you ever had those fuck it moments of like right that's it? I'm just going to binge all week or anything like that because that's one of the biggest things we'll see um, with people. See, it does come to that Christmas time and they've just had completely just out the window, and then we don't see them for a few weeks. Or have you just your mindset is now I would, in a good... I, honestly, I'd say in terms of since I've joined, I've seen my mindset, I've, I've always, I've, I very rarely kind of miss a session. If I, it's, yeah. it's something to do with work and it's, it's not something, I've not missed a session because it was like, I can't be bothered. And Mind. I think that's Love the it. kind of thing of, of getting it in. And I know kind of over time, sort of when I've been looking, I know you obviously get your estimates on your, kind of your Apple Watch in terms of how many calories you're burning. I know that I'm burning a lot less calories now than what I was because I'm not as carrying as much weight. So yep. like, well, now I need to do some other things. So whereas Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday would have been my rest days. I'm going out for a run on a Wednesday or maybe <laughs> run on a Sunday because I want to kind of bulk that up as well just to make sure that I'm on top of it. But I think because you're then fitter because of the sessions and the weight loss, that's not as much of a, a, a task as what it was. It's actually, all right, I'll go out and do half an hour. Um, and I think that kind of thing is... It's kind of what's keeping us going through, but I don't, I've not really had that point where I've jacked it all in. I've maybe had it be before in terms of the yeah. past where it's kind of like, and I'm probably going back to that kind of 18 stone mark sort of thing where it was just like, right, I'll go out and just buy some jogger bottoms and just anything that's in black to hide as much as what I possibly can. <laughs> um, but sort of not in the sort of the last year or so, it's sort of, I think it's because you know the results are coming and you can see the benefits. What would be the point? Why do I kind of want to, sacrifice that and kind of damage it all because I know the way my mind kind of works I'm just going to want to get that weight back off and I'm going to regret doing it and I don't want to go through the day well if I've had a horrible Saturday in terms of eating or a fantastic Saturday in terms of eating how you want to look at it that on the Sunday I'm going to have to punish myself by eating nothing to try and think <laughs> I'm going to bounce that out at no sort of sort of I mean, a long way around to answer your question but kind of no I've been fairly consistent with it in terms of as I say since I've started That's, it's good to hear but it Still a fear from me, from thousands of clients or whatever, and it's always the fear of like because you've you've got a year now, well, to a thirteen months worth mm -hmm. of amazing habits, by the way, and it's like still prior to this. I mean, Matty's talked about habits loads in the past, but it's like there's still how old are you? 
38. 38. There's still like 35 years worth mm. of bad habits still mm. there somewhere. Oh, yeah. And they can creep back in. And it's always our fear for clients who, obviously, like you, have lost a shitload. And then it's like, hopefully, they don't come back in. Yeah. No, I, I always, I mean, I say it to my friend at work, who, he's, a, he's a big help. He's sort of, you know, kind of, as I say, from sort of a young age, or he's all out of life. He's a very fit bloke, you know what I mean? He, he knows his stuff, you know, Mint. he's an expert. Yeah. And I always talk to him about kind of the fat man inside. And I say, like, he is in there. And I said, like, the problem is with it, he's always hungry. I, I can't, <laughs> I, I can't, I, I can't let him win. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it is in there. And it is if you see something like, you know, out and about or like you see some sort of cake or you see some sort of sweet and it's like, yeah, he, he, he wants that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, I, you can afford yourself some of it, obviously, if it fits within kind of your, your, your track inside of it. But like it is there and I think it's that mindset sort of change that I don't want him to kind of sort of that inner monkey to kind of win and sort yeah. of you know kind of take over and ruin everything but I think because it, it's it it has to be that big mindset change and this is probably the longest that well it will be the longest that I've stuck with a kind of one sort of program and sort of eaten and it's it's not tedious if that makes sense everything because it's sustainable in terms of what you're eating and doing I don't feel like I'm not punishing myself you know I will have something you know nice to eat on a Saturday for tea but because I've tracked well through the week and Sunday and I've probably built up that little bit of bit of a cal calorie bank kind of thing I can afford it and I know that I'm still going to you know really lose that weight kind of as it goes through yeah definitely I love that like it's kind of like an alter ego almost where it's that, that kind of identifying with it and that's not actually you. Mm. And that's so important with like mindset, anything mindset, understanding that like, your thoughts aren't necessarily you. And mm. like, it's a great way of framing it. I actually really like that. Um, is but, it from the chimp paradox, by the way? It is, you, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he, I mean, he does live in there. And yeah. as I say, he's hungry. He's hungry now. But like, <laughs> he, 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 you've got to, you've got to suppress him as much as you can yeah. and just try to put him to the back of your head. And at yeah. times he'll win. But as long as I'm winning, you know, nine times out of ten, then, you know, you're going to be all right. Yeah, it? perfect. I mean, building on that, though, like, what do you think, like, you now, because we have, again, a few clients who are at this stage where they've, you know, they've lost the weight, they've mm -hmm. done the thing, and now what does success look like for you now? So that was kind of my, I know I, I thought about it long when you were saying what would be your next kind of goal, and it's, like, easy to say, well, my next goal would be, I think I currently set a kind of 30% sort of weight loss from when I very, very began. And then it's like, well, that could then lead to six stone. But then after that, it's like, you are going to start hitting a plateau and kind of where you go. So I think mine is now more moving more into kind of, kind of that functional side of it in terms of what do I want to be able to achieve? So we've got a couple of half marathons sort of signed up for kind of within the next year. So I'm starting to look at that side of it because the furthest I'd ever run probably consistently in one go would have been three miles. Last Sunday I did, um, five miles um obviously the plan for like this weekend is to try and do six and then get that time down it's kind of i've done a few great north runs like over the years but it's always been that mixture of kind of walk for a bit run for a bit walk for a bit like i want to run it and like i go back to that bit before and i was saying i was 30 i'm, I'm like it's not trying to be cheesy but i don't know what i'm capable of anymore in terms of like what is my fastest speed i could do like what time could i do a half marathon in how fast you know could I do a, you know, a, what's your, your sort of your miles, minute to mile ratio? I don't know, but that's not necessarily like trying to be big headed and sort of come that side of it. It's just, I, I literally don't know. Like, could I run out seven miles tomorrow? I don't know. I, I might be able to, if I give it a go, might I absolutely fall out my face at like five? I don't know, <laughs> but it's kind of looking at that side of it and sort of, right, keeping kind of the, obviously the, the functional side of it sort of Monday to Friday in, but then looking at all those other kind of, that side of it in terms of what other things can I be doing as well? So I'm kind of putting it to use, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. And across your journey, would you say goals has been a big thing for you to have during that process? Is it something yeah. you've always tapped into? I love having like a goal, a sort of like a target to kind of to work to sort of, and I sort of buy it. I think making it fairly achievable as well. Obviously it needs to be challenging. You don't want it to be t too easy to hit, but I think sort of, I think an early one that I put on with Sarah was that I wanted to do, I think it was 100, get down to 189 pounds. That would be 25% of my weight loss gone. And I think at the time I was probably up around 210. I was like, oh, that's quite a bit to do. But it kind of just 
it just happened sort of like it wasn't sort of overnight it was sort of it just gradually came and it was just oh I've done it now now I'll, I'll move on to the next one and I think by you know I could say like oh I want to be not that I want to be I want to be 10 stones like well is that achievable and if I'm never going to hit it I think it's the goals need to be challenging but they need to be achievable at the same sort of time and I think by kind of setting them fairly regular depending on what that may be um, it's kind of what will keep you going in terms of that drive and Love it all. By the way, you've asked loads of my questions. Okay. <laughs> you boycott them. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, one I wanted to um, do was the, about the post, what you did, um, about your holiday. Mm. So, I mean, what I liked about it, like, um, when you went on holiday just in, the, like, a few weeks ago. Mm. Uh, a few weeks ago. It started, um, end of July, ago? it was. End of July, yeah. End of July. It was, like, where you'd only actually gained two pounds and you'd like said, well, normally you'd gain 12, you said 14 yeah, before, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's like, but you were buzzing that you'd actually gained the weight of just two pounds. Yeah, yeah. It was like, I was a bit apprehensive actually on going on holiday this year because of that side of it, saying like, I don't want to then. And it was an all everything. inclusive as well. Oh, it's always an yeah, all inclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always an all inclusive. Um, so, sort of, I know in the past, saying of like, I think it's because on. Like, although I would say in the past not necessarily was going to a gym, I'm still quite active. I, I, I don't sit down for, for a lot. I, I'm always, you know, buzzing around the house. Where you go on holiday and you're either sitting around a pool, you're sitting around a bar, there's not a great deal of kind of movement going on. Obviously, you may be eating food. And I think this year's holiday was different because in the previous holiday that we had in the summer, I thought I had been a lot better. Like, I'd been kind of, you know, again not known necessarily in terms of education I still obviously clearly was having too many calories but it was like I was having fruit with me breakfast I was having loads of salad with kind of dinner and he was like yeah I'll have put something on but it wouldn't be much and I think I got back and it was like 10 11 pounds and it's like but like I've tried to be good and I've absolutely ruined it so this year going into the holiday it was I want that balance of I want to make sure that I'm still active um I mean there was some pictures on there of kind of what the gym looked like and it was I mean disgraceful like it had like about three pieces of equipment it had one bike and it was like but I went there I think out the 14 days 10 times then make sure I got wow get me, get, <laughs> That's me, good, yeah. get me 10,000 steps in and um, so me and Terry would go out for a walk every morning before the sort of you know, mother-in-law was there to look after the bench so we'd go for a walk then you're getting up and around the pool so sort of you know you on slides it was making sure that if there's an opportunity to kind of be up and down get up and down um but then in terms of eating it was right the kind of way i looked at it was i don't really drink you know i'm not i sort of so i know in terms of sugar wise i'm not going to be consuming much in terms of like alcohol or fizzy drinks and kind of that so that side if it's fine i just need to look at the food and it would be similar to what i would do at home i was having a very similar breakfast i wasn't having much lunch because i knew i'd probably end up overeating sort of at tea time yeah um and I was affording myself, like, you know, more than what I would be having now. But I knew that I'd kind of burn some of that off during the day. And I thought, if I can get back from holiday and I've maybe increased by about five or six pounds, like, I'd be really happy. And it ended up, it was two. And I was like, I was absolutely over the moon with two because it was a massive sign of progress. Because, you know, instead of putting on 12, it was only two. That's 10. And it's like, I knew that by going back to work, that I'd have that two pounds off. And I'd have maybe additional two or three pounds off and I'd actually be going back to work lighter than what I was when I'd broke up for the summer, which has never happened before. It was always, you'd come back in September and it's like, oh, your trousers are a bit tight or shirts are a bit tight than what it was before you went. Whereas this year, that wasn't the case. It was like, actually, I can fit back into everything and I can now plough until Christmas and sort of, you know, have that 15-week run, 15 run stretch where um, I can look at all those other targets in terms of what I want to hit and then I'll navigate that one off as well. You sound exactly like me on holiday. <laughs> like it is. Like I, I'll do exactly the same. Like I'll, I'll have pretty much like for, for breakfast because I go to the all inclusive. Mm. Got the boys, and it is like literally. I'll just generally just eggs for breakfast. Do you know what I mean? And then I still, I still do have lunch. I'm a hungry person. But same again. It'll be quite a light lunch. But then on the tea on the night, it'll be whatever I want. Yeah. But I know that I've gotten to the gym. I've gotten like me steps in. If I'm walking up and down for drinks, like I'll only get one drink at a time from mm. the service yeah, just yeah. to get that in. Like I'll never take the um, lift. I mean, all of us in no, no, I didn't. Ibiza, <laughs> like we were missioning all over the place. Like I don't, I mean, I gained a little bit because I only had the shoot just a few days before that, but we missioned everywhere. We missioned everywhere. We didn't 
we weren't pigs on food. Yes, we had drinks, but it wasn't like we were stopping. Do you know what I mean? It was it was the same, and like we, I, I don't know. Did your body weight come back the same? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's that balance, though, isn't it? In terms, of if you're going on holiday, you, you deserve it. You've worked hard all year for that kind of break. You can't just then go and well, I'm not going to like. If you spend all that money on this, particularly on an all-inclusive, like, well, I'm not going to touch any of it. Yeah. You've got to, you've got to find that balance of you know, kind of relaxing and having that bit of fun, but as I say, not sabotaging every single thing that you've done. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And it's as I say, it's that balance, and it's just repeating that kind of process. You see, now at Christmases, at birthdays, or June holidays, to make sure that. You know that you can let yourself go that little bit, but it's not going to have a massive effect on your weight. Do you know I mean, you could put two pound on a normal week, just depending if you've had a bad couple of days. Um, but you know, two pound is easy to to work off. Eleven pound, oh, yeah. eleven pound, <laughs> a couple of months worth of work, and I think that's what can change your mindset and kind of almost demoralise you that little bit and demotivate you because it's well actually that's twelve pound. I can't really be bothered to do that now. I'll yeah. just I'll just say how things go and hope it comes off. Whereas two pound is yeah, I'll do that. We'll get that done in a couple of weeks' time and then we can move on to the next target. Or at least you're back where you were when you began. Yeah, and it definitely leads to an all or nothing mindset as well because if you do put that fourteen pounds on when you're away, you come back and then you restrict yourself like you were yeah. saying and you come back and you're punishing yourself and stuff like that. It's the idea of kind of like, you know, work hard and play hard. Like when we were in Ibiza, for example, like me and Ben got up in the morning, I was like, do you want to go for a run? I was like, yeah, why not? Just do, yeah, like just, <laughs> just doing something because like we, and we were enjoying the views and stuff like that. It's just, don't go away and be like, oh, I need to restrict or go away and say, I need to feast. Just have that bit of, bit of between. It depends what phase you're in as well. And I think that's something that was definitely important for you psychologically, because that's been kind of your downfall in the, in the past of like, went away and it's like, that's the reset. If that's your like kind of sticking point, I think that's a good way of doing it, of mm. saying, okay, can we reduce it? Not necessarily saying I'm going to go away and sustain the weight loss, but saying yeah. let's go away and just kind of get moving and making sure we do do the habit still because yeah. this is a lifestyle you want to change. Minimise that impact. Hundred mm. percent. Um, but yeah, I'll let you ask another question. Yeah, no, nah, I did. Is I, I like I, I love that mindset, and it's very hard to get into that mindset as well because like I've, I've got clients in the past who who you, you probably yourself, I, even me, I remember like when I'm on holiday, I am eating and drinking what the fuck I want, and some some of our clients still have that mentality, so they will lose the weight, go on holiday, just now nah, I'm on holiday, and it's like the damage what you're causing by having three pints for breakfast and your full English and then the this, the this, the this, but it's like, it's a reward mentality in a way because they're on holiday, but it's like you yourself, I mean, God, you'd put 10 months worth of work in prior to yeah. that. So that was going to be like, well, you could have, you could have fucked a lot of it up. Mm-hmm. In there. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's meant to hear that you've actually made them habits into that because it's not even though you're not enjoying the holiday neither. Mm-hmm. And it's the same for me. It's like, I, I'm not going away like people saying, oh, you're not drinking or something like that. But it's like, I'm still having a good time. It's, this is just my normal and, it, and it's, I'm having a good time and I'm going to come back later and it's going to make us more, fo- not come back later, but it's going to make us still focused on the task ahead mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. and not have what you mm-hmm. said, oh, take I. two months off to, um, to get that weight off again. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and it, dep- like, it totally depends on the person as well. Like, we're, not, we're not saying like, don't go away and have a good time. It's that balance between the two, isn't it? But um, but yeah, like tying in straight from that back to kind of like the journey and stuff like that, what would you say, it might be hard to pinpoint something specifically, but what's something you've really learned about yourself, like a real big lesson over these last 12 months? Is there something that stands out from your point of view or? That's a tough one. Um, I suppose it's kind of, as I say, go back to knowing your limits. Mm. In fact, I probably had sort of put a full stop on terms of, well, you're getting older, you're never going to get any fitter than what you were at. It's kind of just maintaining what can you do. But actually, it's, it's kind of never too late in that sort of sense. And sort of, you know, sort of when it comes to the sessions during the week, I'm not trying to compete with anyone in the class. I think the battle's with yourself in terms of setting those targets, whether it's a time challenge or if it's the amount of weight that you're actually using, it's kind of, you know, I, I set myself a, a target a little while ago of kind of, I remember starting the black kettlebell, which everyone will know, kind of a lift, the start, like <laughs> tied it away <laughs> one week and going, that's quite heavy. And then having to think, I'm going to swing that one time. At some point, I'm going to, that's the one I'll swing with and I've done it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's difficult because obviously it's, it's quite an increase from kind of the next one down, but it's <laughs> yeah. not, it's not <laughs> saying that I can't do it. Like it's kind of, you know, you, you've got to kind of not, putting yourself in that box of I'm finished and there is always things that can be improved on and I think that's probably 
probably that side of it. Mm. So more of the mental side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have. Matt, you did ask me final question <laughs> <laughs> closer to the start, but I'll tell you what. Actually, we haven't even actually mentioned um, the sessions, and obviously, Matt, he's yeah, been, yeah, your, been your coach he uh, throughout. He has been your coach throughout the whole thing, hasn't he? Entire time, yeah. Yeah, the entire time. Um, and most of the people who have actually had on this are, is from uh, the barbell, but from the Carnage program, I have had people on Carnage, but I have. But um, just tell us about. I mean, why you, you keep turning up, and obviously how great of a coach Matthew is. Matt is great, Matt is great. <laughs> I think it's the, it's, it's, it's the variety of sessions and knowing that kind of, like, there's going to be something different, and obviously kind of with, obviously Thursday's now got more of that kind of strength sort of focus to it. Your Friday is often kind of some sort of sweat or sort of, you know, maybe some sort of time trial, whether it's a pair or on your own. Die. I think. <laughs> 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 and I think because it... Uh, because you've got that kind of change in every four weeks, like you're not, you don't get bored of it necessarily. You've got all those different things. Maybe that's going to be in it this week. I don't like that. Well, it's not in this rotation. And it's kind of that variety of it. And then obviously you've got all the different people coming in. As I know, Matty's pit being like he's got, obviously he's now got our Sarah who comes around to, who's very different to me in terms of our mindset to it. But she absolutely loves it. Do you know what I mean? And I think in terms of kind of her progress that she has, seeing that as well is kind of, what keeps you going because I mean she probably not thank us for mentioning it but a couple of years ago she had a pain in her knee she went to the doctors and basically said at 34, 35 that she had arthritis and that she shouldn't run right. she shouldn't do any sort of high intensity training she should basically just swim and like that's easier said than done like just you can't just go and swim it's quite a you know there's not a local bath so you can have to drive the, the change inside of it it's like it's not as easy as that and it's boring it's absolutely boring. You can't listen to music or anything. <laughs> um, but then, obviously, she's now been coming since uh, May. She signed up for another six months, you know, kind of. So she's going to have done it, you know, nine months, you know, at least kind of here. And she's running up and down. She's finished the 35-minute thing last week. And I think that last night, like, she's done it kind of within the time. And I think seeing that progress, because, as I say, she was, at times, at the very beginning, she'd possibly cry because she was in pain. Now she cries because, like, I was told I would never be able to do this again. And, but you see that in other people who kind of, you know, particularly over the 12 weeks and the people who stay longer, that how much fitter that they're getting. And I think that's, that's part of the sessions. And it's because it's not just focusing on one particular thing, because you're rotating around, you know, different stations and it's a different thing each night that it keeps you on the ball. And then obviously within that, it's not like you can go, well, I've completed, I've completed the gym, I've completed carnage. It isn't because it's right, well, actually, I can do that. Now I'm going to do it. You know, if it was a press up, for example, I remember the the kind of gauntlet we had just before Christmas, where I think there was a hundred press ups in it, and I was just like, I was doing a hundred press ups, but I mean, there weren't a hundred proper press ups. You know, you'd probably have ten on your <laughs> ten proper ones, ten on your knees, and by the end you were barely lifting up. But I can do a hundred now, and as I say, it may not be a hundred like form wise absolutely perfect, but it's better than what I was doing a year ago, and I think that's what you start to see in people is that there's always that kind of, that challenge to, if you want to stretch yourself that little bit further, that the opportunities are there to do so and you can kind of make yourself, you know, whether it's a fitness time, whether you want to beat your time, whatever it is, and I think that's what keeps you going each week. Remember where you started. I just remember why you started. I remember where you started, really, innit? Look at that, yeah. It's, uh, that, it's, it's a very hard always for us as coaches because we're always talking about the programming and everything like that and it is always hard to... Uh, mm judge of like seeing the progress within the session but it's nice that you remember obviously those press ups and that and it is hard for some people to understand that because even if it is just two press ups extra the next week they don't sort of see it in a way um, so it's nice to see the progression on that how, how have you done on the um, the, the Fridays? I've have you done it I was yeah. 23.57 yesterday Wow. I was absolutely pagged like but uh and has that improved week on week? With yeah, I mean, well? the first week I didn't, I, I did do it, but I did it over the 30 minutes. It was like 31. Uh-huh. Um, but it got faster each week. And I think that's what you find with those sessions. And it, again, you're just in competition with yourself for that. It's yeah. kind of, you know what I mean? I could half arse it and kind of not do it properly, but like it's against me at the end of the day. It's not, it's not a league table, do you know what I mean? It's not a yeah, reward yeah, at yeah. the end of it. The reward is against yourself. And if I'm beating my own time, and I know if I've half asked one week and then I'm giving it me all the next week, then that's not a true reflection of improvement, really. It's just because your mindset was in a different place. But again, that comes just back down to that consistency side of it and sort of 
well, I'm going to come in, I'm going to do this and I'll give it me all. And some weeks I might be knackered because you might have had one of those weeks, you might be slightly run down. I know that every week I might not get faster, but the goal is, that is the goal. And if you can't achieve it, we'll try again the week after. I like it because it is we were always talking and talking like, are they, are they enjoying it? Are they this, are they that, are they this? So it's very um, nice to hear from you. Um, so yeah, my, my last question was going to be like um, people in a similar position, but we went through that one. I think just going from what we've just said there, like where you see sort of people coming in and out of the gym mm -hmm. as well, and we always start people on a 90 day um, starting point. So this is the final one. What would you say to those people who sort of think that the 90 days are done and like how would you... I don't know what, what give them some guidance of like to get beyond that and see the delayed gratification of a year-long goal of 22 kilos i think that the 90 days it's great and i think some people will probably have faster weight losses more significant weight losses than others but what are you going to do afterwards in terms of if you decide that's where you're going to leave it at 12 weeks are you going to be able to maintain that yourself do you think you're probably educated enough it's like I, you know, I say 30, I've had 37 years beforehand of bad habits that they're not going to be ironed out within 12 weeks. You know, you can't. And I think sticking with it because things are going to change and the fact that, yeah, you get new people in as well is helping them out in sort of that side of it. But it's not just, I'm kind of going off on a bit of a tangent here with this it, one. Go for um, it, I love it. <laughs> but I think for me, that 12 weeks was just a starting point sort of like yes I did have weight loss I did you know improve kind of physically but it was after that that I really kind of kicked on because I think I was still kind of experimenting that little bit for 12 weeks in terms of what you were eating and finding what works I think to say that you've cracked it after 12 weeks is very very difficult it's a it's a very crucial part of it because it is where you're starting to iron out those bad habits and work out but I'm still trialing things to this day it's not saying I've got everything cracked because you know I'm not the finished article by any stretch of it um we never are but, and exactly, exactly it's, yeah. it's one of those things again going back to what what are you capable of in terms mm -hmm. of i don't know um but i found that staying on and sort of you know signing up for that other six months period and then staying with it is kind of that was when i started seeing the real sort of signs of improvement because you are past kind of that that early kind of dom stage where everything hurts <laughs> it's kind of well gone by that point you know sort of because you'll have done pretty much every kind of exercise, not necessarily in the previous kind of rotation, but you've done it, that next time round, well, I'm going to do it better. I mean, there's sort of that little challenge here, then when you run about with a ski machine, like how much can you do in 45 seconds? Mm -hmm. And absolutely pagger it for 45 seconds. I'm knackered. <laughs> but that kind of thing is, right, I'll, I can't do it every single time, but I'll give it a go next week and yeah. just see, can I get any closer to what I got to? Definitely. I mean, just last point, obviously, just not to turn on too long, but essentially with that like i always see the first 12 weeks as just the, it's the complete start like you're mm. figuring what works getting the schedule there it takes a while like you say if you've been doing stuff for 30 years even 10 years 20 years doesn't matter how long it's hard mm. it takes 12 weeks sometimes for people to just start to get it mm -hmm. maybe longer yeah and i think that's that that mentality of like the 90 days isn't one and done it's 90 days to really change onwards from there and mm. it's it's that it's definitely that mindset shift yeah, absolutely. from there but absolutely 100 perfect thank you very much um i'm I, I'm, I'm proud of you and i don't even coach you <laughs> um, i'm sure matthew is too and and does matthew do your nutrition he does, does, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. So I was going to say Sarah, but did Sarah start your new? She did, yeah, yeah. Okay, she, she, I'll give her a little mention. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>